Hi guys, we're here at RC Towner's place for testing tonight. If you are looking for him on TikTok, you're looking for S Towner RC. Stoner RC. Wordplay, gotta That's love it. <laughs> um, we've got three rigs here tonight that we're doing some testing and tuning on. Uh, Scott's gonna tell you about Rambo real quick. He did some modifications to it. Then we got the Cross RC. But if you watched my live last night, you'll see me struggling with trying to get the new axles into it. <laughs> I also have my bouncer that I put together out of just spare parts laying around. Yes, I've already had issues with it before I even got here. So Lots of spare parts. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, so now let's go see Rambo. So, Rambo is a Gen 8 Red Cat chassis with an Enjora MJ Truggy body onto it. I have upgraded the rims to aluminum bead locks to put a little bit more weight down low, keep it from rolling. I have put stiffer shocks into it, so that's what we're going to test today. I have put a my Bly Sky receiver and remote back into it after having, in a previous video, the um, uh, completely flooding out the receiver. So I will show a little bit later on what I used in that, and then we'll also do another how-to video on how to apply all of that. So, that is Rambo. We'll do a little bit front action, some side action, and there's my butt. Alright guys, you all know my Blue Cross RC. It's my most popular one on my page, mainly because it's my favorite. I have done the wheels and tire upgrades. You guys watched that video if you watched my video on fucking mosquitoes, bro. <laughs> on the page when I did the upgrades to them. But my newest upgrade to it is Axial SCX 3 aftermarket axles, the full metal portal. The biggest reason why I wanted to upgrade them was I got full brass knuckles in here, or U, U joints. Other than that, it's all stock other than the tires and the rims and those axles. Uh, now, this thing started out as nothing but parts. It's an axial bouncer frame that I've got G made rear swing arms just random links laying around it's got a hex fly receiver into it with a hex fly 540 red cat with an axial transmission it's literally just thrown together and yes I took an old NOS can and cut it up for my skins no, I am not sponsored by NAS, although that would be awesome, but I'm not going to worry about trying to get into that. I am running Axial 1.9 tires. Maxis tires is what they are. I don't can't tell you what the axles are because I don't know anymore. They were just laying around in an old shoebox underneath my bench. So, yeah. Let's get into testing and tuning. Rambo is running a 12 turn 550 brush motor. I know everybody likes their brush lift, but. I like the torque that a brush motor has. Now with my other shock, this part, the side hilling, it would flex the 
the country too much. So that's actually the first time I've ever really gotten through that part of the course without rolling three times. So my upgraded springs have worked. This part of the track gets done going up. It's just far too easy going down. So let's just spin around for a second. For that awesome camera shot, Dan. Gotta try the bumper modification here. <laughs> Where are you going? All right, so this obstacle on the back side here, the concrete block, has been proven difficult when we come around because I had my bumper sticking out way too far before, especially on the the gap challenge we did underneath the overpass. I think we have winner winner chicken dinner here. You know, I don't know if I ever did edit and put that up. The gap challenge. You did a little bit. Okay, yeah. You did a little bit of it. I've got to get you to come up by my place and do the rock crawl course that I have got just down the road from my place. No course is complete unless you have a tip and mosquitoes. <laughs> Yes, mosquitoes are a necessity. I don't know if Rambo's going to make it. Let's see what you can do on our little course here. So Dan, what you got for a motor in this? It's got the 540 X-Fly. Oh, it's so uh, it's just a stock Everest 10 motor. Yep. Nothing fancy. Yeah, but see, you may have very low speed, but you have lots of torque. See how well your suspension does on the side hill. Just a little perspective here. It's up in on a side hill. Camera doesn't do it any justice. Never does. Oh, I lost you.
Do what you got, little guy. I think. Oh, we need a hand of God. Hand of God. Pull it right down, he'll crawl. <laughs> That's where that high torque comes in. Down through the rock garden. Now, the rocks are another obstacle that's interesting to go up. Okay, that was too easy. And into the sand trap, which the sand's a little damp right now, so it doesn't really give a whole lot of effect, really. And then let's just give. I mean, now that is a steep climb. It proves challenging for most RCs, really. Yeah. Oh, see, he was just trying to show off and balance it out and failed. <laughs> well, you got something that's got a lot of torque, a lot of grip. Oh my god, you should see the flex on the other side, from the other side angle. <laughs> and when it comes down, <laughs> it'll get you all twisted. Throw you around a little bit. Now it's the cross's turn. Get it crossed. Right, let's see how well you do with your new axles that are not the right axles. And the fact that the servo turns very slowly. I think it's doing pretty good. Cross the rope bridge. On to the side hill turn. I, I may, I may have gotten one of the guys at work interested in RC crawlers. Oh? Yeah, John. Cool. John, John's uh, interested in getting an RC crawler. I told him he's welcome over anytime to prove his medal. <sighs> This is the first time the cross has done this part of the course. This is new edition. Uh -oh. Look at it. It's 
leave with those axes. They're going to back up. We're backing up. Yep. That's just what I get for any Chinese axles instead of... Something's binding up. Something is not happy. No. See if we can't make it the rest of the way through this forest that way. Oh, I guess we're just not going to make that rock climb. Yeah, I got no reverse at all. Well, the hand of God, put it back there and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and just get this through here and we'll call it a night for testing you know. Yeah, these mosquitoes are eating us alive. Went and got stuff to treat the backyard, but obviously it's not working immediately. Because I just had two on my leg right there. So, testing tune went well, except for getting eaten the hell alive by mosquitoes. And I am not influenced enough to not care about getting eaten alive. So, all in all, yeah, it was a good night. The only vehicle that seems to have any issues is the cross with the new axles. Yeah, that guy right there. We're going to have to pull them apart and find out what's going on. I don't know if it's just the fact that they are Chinese axles that I paid $115 for, when I could have bought actual axial axles from. I'm looking into... But I don't think they'll fit yours. You'd have to get the ones that fit like Axial or the Cross with. But uh, I'm looking at the KYX Axial. My biggest issue with these is my diff is on the wrong side. Yeah. I need the diff on the... So... That's the type from what I'm at. Yeah. I believe my big, in my live last night that I referenced that that diff was on the wrong side. Yeah, so... Um, Getting the axle on the right side, but you also said two cross is one of the hardest ones to customize. Yep, because um, nobody makes aftermarket parts for them because they're, they are a newer company. They specialize in the military vehicle end of RCs, not so much the crawler end. They're getting more and more into the crawler end from my understanding, but we'll see. And as far as the things that I've done so far to, to Rambo, everything is working pretty good. Side hill, side hill's a lot better. Sad. Freaking mosquitoes. Side hill's much better. I have one more thing to test and tune. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and that is the waterproofing on the receiver. Yeah. And if it works in yours, I've got like five of them to bring down to you. <laughs> <laughs> Because the last water uh, waterfall climb video that we did is where I started having the glitching in the servos and such. So we have to test that out still. But we've had a lot of rain in the area, so the, the rivers and the creeks haven't been the safest to send an RC down through yet. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see here in the near, near future. Um, we also have the pulling track, which I need to do some maintenance to. I got some roundup for that. Uh, pulling we gotta, videos. We gotta get some guys around that actually are gonna come and participate. Well, I pretty much just have to go over and knock on somebody's door on the weekend and be like, hey, well, hook up to a sled. And he'll be like, yeah, how many you want me to bring over? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, we have pulling sled videos coming. Hopefully by the fall, uh, before snow starts flying, be a goal for that. Uh, I have a how to video that I'm going to be working on here in the near future uh, for Rambo. Rambo is going to get a metal rear cage. I got to figure that all out yet. So yeah, more coming. We will, we will see you later. <laughs>